Hello dear friends, welcome to Casa Naturals and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Actually, it's been one month of not uploading videos, friends, because we are on a break and I had a challenge with my camera and we were on holidays. So we praise the Lord for bringing us this far. We are indebted to God for his tender mercies and love. So on Sabbath, that's when I upload Christ like Lifestyle videos. So happy Sabbath to you, friends, and thank you so much for your love and your support. So actually, on this channel, I upload videos every day. So make sure that you come back and check out for more videos every day. And I have good content, actually, in 2020, 2023, friends. You know, I can't just believe it. So comment in the section below the goals that you have for, you know, uh, spiritual goals, uh, financial goals, whatever goals you have said, comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Happy 2023, friends. Like, uh, I'm not yet late and I'm happy that I wish you a 2023 happy new year. So comment in the section below, friends. So our topic today is uh, facing challenges, facing challenges. So we are reading from the book of uh, Genesis chapter 27, verses 41. So the subtopic is saying uh, favoritism in the family. I pray that the Spirit of God will impress our hearts as we sit at the feet of Jesus to learn of his word. The Bible reads, So Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will kill my brother, Jacob. Beloved of my father, you know, favoritism was a problem actually in Abraham's family. Isaac experienced, you know, the anguish in his own home. Perhaps you've been there before. You can comment in the section below. So according to uh, Genesis chapter 27, verse 41, which we read, you'd find that, there was, you know, Isaac experienced anguish in his own home over the difference, you know, between his inheritance and the inheritance of his stepbrother Ishmael. Then Isaac showed a difference or a preference for his son Esau. So whilst Rebekah favored his twin brother, Jacob favorism, real or imagined caused many problems in families you know favorism i'm sure you've been there before like favorism actually causes a lot of problems in our families in isaac and rebecca's home it led to jealousy dissent murder and murder threats that is according to genesis chapter 27 verse 41 so Rebecca sent Jacob away. Probably you are a Bible student, or if you are not, don't worry about that. So Rebecca sent Jacob away to her brother for safekeeping, and she never saw him again. Favorism tore the family for decades, beloved. Like it tore their family apart for decades until Jacob plucked up the courage to return. And the brothers were mature enough to reconcile in spite of the deep pain that favorism had caused the family. So Jacob continues the pattern of behavior he showed favorism to Rachel, remember, over Leah to Rachel's son, Joseph, over the rest of his brothers. So history repeats itself over the rest of his brothers. Like Joseph's brothers were jealous. Remember, I said, if you are a Bible student or if you are not, or you have, I'm sure you've heard about this before. Like, Joseph's brothers are jealous of him. Remember, they sold him. In fact, they had planned that Joseph should be killed. So, jealous continued. You know, some of them have murdered, actually. It, you know, it led to murder. They had murderous intentions. They sold Joseph as a slave. 
and they lied to their father and the family was broken you know until they are mature and humble enough to be reunited so jealousy should not be condoned in a family because it has adverse effects it has led to murder it has led to broken families when we come to god like god doesn't show favorism that's the goodness of our lord he doesn't show any favorism so god actually doesn't have any favorites each person is equal it's special to him hallelujah so each one of us we are so special in the sight of god like god doesn't show any favorism god doesn't want his family to be torn apart apart because of jealousy you know lies sadness and hate and the holy spirit to reveal the blind spots in your parenting where you might be showing favorism that is my prayer i'm sure that is your prayer too in families you know parents show favorism and relatives show favorism to other relatives that is not supposed to happen like we are not supposed to have favorites but we should be we should treat one another equally so you know if you are a parent or maybe of course each one of us belong to a family right we all belong to a family so you it could be that uh, you had perceived you know as a, in your home you had you had perceived you know jealous or favorism my prayer and your prayer is that it should end so through the power of the holy spirit is actually possible to stop favorism so what you need to do is you should regularly express how much you love each other or each child if you are a parent in a home so do conversations like one one on one as a family while you might be showing favorism you know you shouldn't show favorism favorism should not have a place in our family yes beloved so you should actually on a regular basis you know like show love to your family to your child to your parents you know whoever you are living with and make sure that you know you converse in a manner that shows love and which doesn't manifest any favorism and if you are a parent make sure that you help your child to work through their conflicts it is very very important friends together you know spend quality time with each other with each child individually and help your child to work through the conflict between you know their siblings and uh, do kind things for each other make sure that you ask each other if it is your child whoever you are living with or if it's your child ask each child what makes them you know feel loved and uh, special then do those things as often as you can and find out you know if you are living in a big family find out from each other what makes them happy what makes them to feel loved it is very very possible friends and it will actually be a happy home and do. of course challenges may not end as long as we are in this world but we will be able to live in harmony with each other so beloved of my father thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to our channel and comment in the section below i'd love to hear from you god bless you bye bye